I'd like to welcome everyone. This is um, a very exciting day in the history of Audubon University. Um, and I want to thank you for taking the time to come. Um, we have a um, kind of formal dedication here uh, to welcome a new resource um, to our campus, one that I hope to um, come by and see all of you in there, um, curled up in a chair with a pillow and a laptop and a cup of coffee. But um, anyway, um, I want to thank Bon Appetit and the crew um, that worked so hard in making the Otter Den possible. I think this has been pretty much a student-driven process from the very beginning, but we couldn't have done it without our partners at Bon Appetit. Um, I don't know if Will stepped out here or they're getting ready for food, I guess. So, Will, are you out here? Oh, you're here. Okay. I'm sorry. The balloons are kind of in my line of sight here. Uh, but Will, who's the general manager of our Bon Appetit program here at Otterbein, has just um, proven to be a wonderful partner, really, from the day I first, maybe from even before I started here, Will has gone out of his way to do everything he can to help us advance the um, student life opportunities and particularly the quality and service of the food services um, here at Otterbein. Dan Farrell, our district manager of Bon Appetit, is here as well. And Dan, um, same thing is true. Dan has been a, a true partner every step of the way. Um, they really honored me um, to a great extent with the food at the inauguration, and they've just been right there with us every step of the way. So thanks, Dan, for joining us today. Um, I want to also thank um, Frank Radzewski of the Audubon Service Program, um, who provided primary oversight. Is, is Frank here? No? Okay, they're, they're busy working. Um, Kenny Goble, also of uh, Otterbein Services, um, who manage the day-to-day -day operations of the construction. And again, they've been wonderful partners on this project from the very beginning. And I want to thank the Otterden Student Committee, who did all of the research. They visited other places. They sampled. I, they had the tough duty of sampling um, the menu, I think. So um, they really did their due diligence. And they developed a vision for the space here in the Otterden. And I also want to recognize Andrea Zick. Is Andrea here in the audience? Andrea, stand up. <laughs> Andrea chaired our committee and really, um, I think, was attending to every detail, every step of the way. And um, this is your last weekend at Otterbein, so we're very sorry to see you go. But um, you have to come back and uh, check out the, see if the menu changes over time and if all your dreams come true with the Otterbein. So thanks again for your leadership. Um, I think from the outset, um, the commitment was to get the students involved in this project. The, uh, I think there was a, a I, I wasn't here when all this happened, but there were a number of questions asked about Quiznos over the last couple of years, and students were talking about what they would like to see in this space, what they would like to have in terms of a more welcoming and more comfortable space. I hope when you go in there, you'll feel like you need to curl up in a chair. We tried to make this homey. We tried to make it welcoming. We tried to surround you with the warmth um, that I associate with the Otterbein experience. So if you kind of feel like you're being embraced in that space, um, that's the idea. You should feel like you're really at home. And um, I want it to, to feel like you can, like it's your family room, okay? Um, we're also very excited about, um, there's an open mic space. And I, I guess I, this was something that was of great interest to me as we think about all of the student talent we have at Otterbein. And we have opportunities um, for students to display their talents, but also it's in a much more formal setting through a formal recital or dance performance or a theatrical performance. Um, you can get up and use the open mic for stand-up comedy, singing. I don't know if there's enough room to dance, but you could certainly do something small. Um, we could have uh, dramatic monologues, creative writing, short stories, poetry, um, and just looking forward to all of the creativity of our students um, beginning to weigh in in the utilization of this space. Um, so the idea was really to create something that would be special for the Campus Center, and I, I hope that this is the beginning of kind of a rebirth of the vibrancy of life at Otterbein uh, through the Campus Center. You'll be seeing additional changes coming down the pipe, but this is the beginning, and we want it to be student-driven, okay? So I am very happy now to uh, turn the podium over to Larez. Larez has been involved in this as well, and he's going to be talking a little bit more about the student experience. So thank you all for coming. Hello, everyone. Um, as she said, my name is Lorez Wilson. I'm a senior.